third down at 10. Clemson going to bring pressure. Duke runs the ball, and the ball is fumbled, and it's recovered by Makuba. Jacquez Moore fumbles it. Clemson recovers. You can see the field goal get in the middle of the field. A line there kicker is to hand the ball to Moore. Looks like Jeremiah Trotter gets that hand in there, punches the ball out. How about Andrew Makuba? Almost scooped and scored that football. It's an excellent job by Jeremiah Trotter Jr., who was all football all the time. Was the go-ahead touchdown. They'll throw it here on third and long and try to set up a wide receiver screen. It's Redwell. Calhoun tackled by Trotter. It's J.D. Moore, their top running back, and he'll pick up zero. It just feels like more of the same from week one when Dabo said, honestly, he's never been a part of a game like that. Martello on the keeper. They'll lose a couple yards and bring up third down and long. Jeremiah Trotter Jr. on the stop. On third and ten. Travis wrapped up and spun down by Jeremiah Trotter. And a nice design pressure. You're going to see pressure on the outside. And then Trotter's going to fill in. They kind of don't pass it off correctly between the right guard and the right tackle. As a result, Trotter somehow gets around. As you see Emmanuel swinging a miss. And he drops Travis. Third down and eight. Pressure coming. Schrader in trouble. And sacked again. Number five. Clemson almost has as many sacks in this game as they had in the first four combined. This is Jeremiah Trotter. Got Peter Woods inside. He's going to work outside the guard. Opens up that A gap for Jeremiah Trotter to fly downhill. And they empty it out here. Schrader back to throw. Fires over the middle. Trotter with a great play. Picks it off at the 32 yard line. Eyes on the quarterback. Going to drop right back into this zone. Eyes on the quarterback. Trying to work the football to Alford. Working out of that inside receiver position. Full extension. And an excellent, excellent play and takeaway for Jeremiah Charter Jr. You can't draw it up any better than that. In the back of the field because Andrew Makuba has the tight end to cover. Here they come. Nothing. Wow, Nowhere to go. Oh. That is an orange wave in the backfield, Mark. That is a pass read 100% of the time. When you have every gap filled with defensive players. One for four on third down. Armstrong, the pitch. And that goes nowhere to Allen. How about Jeremiah Trotter making sure of it for the Clemson defense? From his end zone, Morris on the run. Trying to free that, absorb the hit at the six. And then finally toppled all of that for about a yard. Three nothing Irish. Third down and four. Hardman wrapped up. Jeremiah Trotter, the linebacker on a blitz. And Jabron Payne is just stepping right up to take on the linebacker Trotter. But look at the wiggle as Trotter kind of shifts his body inside, goes right around Jabron Payne. It's an excellent rush and just a bad miss there. Brings the ball back to the 24-yard line. 840 to go. Second quarter. An 11-point lead, and that might grow. Jeremiah Trotter. Touchdown, Clemson. Touchdown, 24 to 6 after the White's extra point. And he does a great job just kind of watching Sam Hartman's eyes. His eyes are in the backfield the entire way, and yet he's still playing coverage against Holden Stays. Drifts right out underneath it, intercepts the pass, and takes it the distance. That's great instincts on display from Jeremiah Trotter. Being able to cover a receiver while looking in the backfield is so difficult. Sam Hartman pays the price for the outstanding play by the defender. Jeremiah Trotter, the son of the four-time Pro Bowler, on second and ten near midfield. Hartman takes the check down to Estime, and he's stuck just shy of the 50. Trotter there with Wayne Woodaz. They rush five.
initial protection from Notre Dame. You see Jabron Payne, he's actually going to get a good block on Barry Carter initially, but the ball's got to come out quicker. It's great coverage in the back end. Lars, the motion man, a play. in their favor. King on the move. First down at the 12. Jeremiah Trotter with the tackle. Here it is. Jeremiah Trotter Jr. You just watch him here. Watch the instincts. Coming in coverage. Just go ahead and contain the quarterback to the floor offensively. They fake the jet sweep and give it to Jamal Haynes this time. Jeremiah Trotter says, hey, I watched film, too. Smith in the backfield. Haynes King going to keep it himself. Little or no gain on the play. Trotter has been all over the field today. Change with the yak. They actually had him stepping out at the 49-yard line, and now a loss of one on the handoff to Hampton. He also said, I've got the play best player in the game. Center. Is this a hard count? Nope. A quick toss. Hampton. Short of the first down. The oh, stop on downs for Clemson. Their defense takes it back near midfield. The main reason for that stop, it's the corner. They're trying to get out to the edge, but look at Avion Terrell coming in on the outside, letting it be known that at Clemson, the corners actually tackle. If you're the wide receiver out there, you've got to make do a much better job of allowing. After the Clemson timeout, five-man rush. Man, sacked again! And now Dabo Sweeney. I would think would call his final timeout as Jeremiah Trotter gets home. Jeremiah Trotter over the center, right? That causes all of these guys to have one-on-ones. And when they set up those one-on-one -on -one blocks, now you give your best pass rushers an opportunity to go against guys that are less athletic than them. And then when Drake May steps up, guess who's there on the spot? Jeremiah Trotter Jr. to force him to not be able to get out of the pocket. Beautiful defensive